What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Chasers. All right, guys, it's morning time. I'm about to go train fasted, no food. I'm doing some fasted calves, chest, and cardio. About to take four cuts FTS. Link to Pump Chasers subs is in the description section, guys. If you train fasted, if you're cutting or whatever, you need some energy, look no farther. Get this. I'm gonna drink me a full bottle of water. And we're about to go get it in, okay, guys? So I'm gonna share my split with you pretty soon. Comment below if you're interested, man. Also, I train chest two times a week. Okay, now one of my chest days is very basic. You know, it's like some barbell incline press, you know, some in and out dumbbell fly. If you don't know what the in and out dumbbell fly is, Go watch the video about the form, okay? The in and out dumbbell flies, you know, some weighted dips, some uh, dirty 30 cable crossover shit, and I'm done. Real simple, real basic, pretty heavy. Then I train chest again, which is today. It's pretty much high volume, pretty much machine only. I'm getting reps. I'm really squeezing the muscle, getting blood into the muscle. You know, so one day heavy and basic, the other day lots of machines and volume. Today is that day. Lots of machines and volume. I'm going to share with you right now. So let's go to the gym. All right, guys. So check it out. Got the shaker cup. Going to knock out two scoops of intra pump and sip on the BCAs while we train. Let's get started. All right, guys. Before I start my chest workout, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my calves first. Get the calf out the way, man. I'm gonna add some weight to the stack. Like I told y'all in my last vlog, calves are getting pretty strong. I'm gonna add weight. So I got enough room on this stack to probably add an additional 50 pounds, you know, and I'm gonna work my way up to 20 reps a set. Work my way up to, right now, I'm gonna keep it at 10. Work my way up to 12 reps a set. Eventually, hopefully one day I can do 20 reps a set. You know, just progressive overload of the calves, man. And we're going to do 10 sets of calf raises, then start the chest workout. And here we go. Huh. Ha! Yeah, buddy. Let's go! Huh. Pause at the top. Pause at the top. Pause at the top. Get that tension. Pause at the top. Ha! And as y'all see, guys, calves are done. See, just get them out the way, man. I know me. If I did chest first, I would have probably skipped the calves. See, check it out. Calves. Gotta have the proportions, man. Proportions. Proportions, man. We work everything in pump chasers, you understand? So now, time to get started on this chest workout. Y'all ready? Like I told you guys, we do chest twice a week. First day is real basic. You know, the barbell stuff, the dips, you know, the simple basic stuff that we've all started doing when we first started lifting, you know, because I believe that the basics is how you build a foundation and it's how you keep your density, right? Now, it's time to get these reps, time to get this volume, time to hit these angles. Just keep in mind, we're cutting. And like I told you in my last vlog, man, when you're cutting and once your body's weird, guys, I'm telling you, your body's very weird. Like when you got fat on your body, your body is it, it, going to get rid of that fat, no problem. It's kind of like having money in the bank. You got a million dollars in the bank. Your cousin needs to borrow a thousand dollars because he's, he's doing bad. You're like, go ahead and take that. You know what I mean? I got you, bro. But if you only got a thousand dollars in your bank account and your cousin needs to borrow eight hundred dollars, you might, you might not want to give it to him because that's all you got. He might not pay you back, right? That's kind of how your body works. Once you start getting lean, start seeing your abs and your veins, separation in your legs, 
it'll probably get rid of that muscle before it get rid of that fat because your body needs fat to live. It doesn't need a whole bunch of excess muscle to live. Your body needs a healthy amount of fat to keep you alive. So if you want to keep that muscle, go heavy, hit as many angles as possible, keep that protein up. We'll talk about this later. Right now it's time to train. Let's go. I actually got liquid chalk as well. I'll be sure to give y'all a review on this real soon. Literally just bought it. I got liquid chalk and we got powdered chalk. Gonna get your hands nice and dry. All right, we're gonna start out with some pet fly. So pre-exhaust the pets, man. Get the pets nice and exhausted. A lot of people disagree with that, and that's fine. You want to disagree? I didn't ask you a fucking opinion. <laughs> but yeah, I like the pre-exhaust the pets. When you're pressing, guys, you're using your shoulders and your triceps. Think about it like this. Put your hands behind your back. And let me know how much you bench behind with your hands behind your back. You can't. The primary movers are gonna be the delts, triceps, and of course the lats on the negative. So I like to praise off the picks first, get some blood into the muscle. That way, when I do my reps, I feel every rep. Okay. A lot of people do not talk about this mind-muscle connection shit that comes with bodybuilding. People talk so much about form, and form is important, but filling the muscle work is just as important. And getting a good pump first ensures you feel every rep. Really gets that good mind-muscle connection when you get pumped first. Every body part I do, I have an exercise that helps me engage the mind muscle connection like, like you watched the last arm video I posted last week what did I do first I got on my knees and did some curls right to get the blood into the muscle and get connected so when I was doing my twisting dumbbell curls go watch the video doing my twisting dumbbell curls every rip I felt that short head getting punished because I was already engaged mentally all right we'll talk about that shit later too so anyway put my belt on Let's get started. What we're going to do is two warm-up sets just to get warm, get the shoulders warm, and then we're going to do three working sets. And this is going to be tough. Check it out. Let's warm up first, though. I can do this about 20 times. Right now, we got 150 pounds on here. Show them the weight real quick. We got about, what, 150 pounds on there? That's what I say? Yep. But I can do this about 20 times. I'm just gonna do about eight to 10. Let's get started. Save the energy for the real weight. All right, so stretch, bam. Stretch, bam. Stretch, bam. Stretch, bam. Stretch, bam. Hold that stretch, and bam. Let's do another one set with heavier weights. All right? Bring it down to 210. Bring it down to 210. We're gonna do it again. Well, that shit rhyme. We wouldn't even try. All right, two tens. Do it again. Roll these shoulders. Warm them up, man. Warm them up. It's time to get nasty. <laughs> All right, let's go. Roll the shoulders back. That's another warm up. Yeah. Here we go. Let's set an eight. Let's get nice and warm. And hold the stretch at the bottom, and bam. Now we're ready to get for real. All right, so I'm gonna take a one minute break real quick. Get my mind engaged, show me real quick. We're gonna do three working sets. We got the stack right here. All right, three working sets. Y'all hold on. Right All right, guys, my minute break is up. Let's get started, let's get intense. This man, good luck, sugar. This is some good luck, sugar. Oh my Gotta God. get your own woman. <laughs> Mwah! Mm, I'm ready to kill it now. Kill That's why I need. That's better than pre workout. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Y'all ready? <laughs> here we go. Ho! Give me this shit! Ho! Let's go! Ho! Bah! Push. Bah! Good form. Bah! Textbook form. Ah! Ah! Mm. Ah! Ah! Make every real count. Ah! Ah! There you go. Damn. Then we immediately cut it down. All right? Cut it down. I'm going to cut it right in half. So three, the whole stack is 300. 
I'm cutting it right down to, to, to 150. That's right in half. And check it out. One, two. Isometrics. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, ten like that. So ten and ten. One, two. Woo. Perfect. One, two. Five more. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> Got it. One, two. And one, two. That is one set. We're doing three just like that. I'm going to take a minute break and do it two more times. Oh, motherfucker. Come on. It's got to be an easier way to get home ready. It's got to be. Ain't no easy way, nigga. Oh, man, don't tell me that, man. I'm hoping be, hope I can lay low next year, man. Well, easy everybody we have. Do a hippie workout, man. Go. 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 Push. Push. Good form. Perfect. Damn, form. bitch. I'm talking about. Can't fuck with me, man. Do this shit, man. Shit ain't no roids. I got rage, though. Yeah. Same motherfuckers got roids and roids rage. I left the roids somewhere else, but I got the rage. Talk that shit. Leave the roids, but I bring the rage, bitch. Talk that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't need that shit, motherfucker. Yeah. Shit. All right, guys. Like I told you, machines only today. Today is a high volume machine based routine. Now, Smith Machine, man, I love this machine, guys. Let me show you something, though. You gotta use good form. See, look at this. People, they'll get on these machines and they'll do shit like this. This, hey, if you want to just throw weight around, great. If that's your goal. But you want to feel beautiful muscle, control it. Look, control it down, control it up. Control it down, control it up. Have full control of the weight at all times. This right here, that's no. Absolutely unacceptable. Control it down, control it up. Make love, sweet love, okay? All right, so check it out. We're gonna do three sets of six to 10 reps. So anything under six reps is pathetic, that's too heavy. Anything over 10 is also pathetic, that's too light. So it's gonna take you a few workouts to figure out the weight that's for you. For me, that's two plates on the 25 wing side. Check it out, look how I'm rolling my shoulders black. Rolling them back, getting that scapular retractor so I can keep my shoulders healthy and safe. That chest up towards the ceiling, chin up so I can get some oxygen. Let's get it. Control. Okay. Perfect form. Beautiful form. After the Smith Machine press is done. Now we're trying to use each arm independently, all right? Each arm has to fend for themselves. So we're just gonna do a nice high rep, 10 to 12 reps a set. Now you notice on a Smith machine press, even on the barbell press, I go full range of motion. I mean, I touch my chest and I come all the way up. I don't really lock the elbow, but I come all the way up. Now on this right here, I like constant tension. I like to keep constant stress on the upper chest. Really more stretch than anything. I like to really keep a constant stress and really stretch the muscle. You know, just keep it moving. You know, keep that shit moving. Keep my, my mind muscle connection so good, I can contract my upper pecs without having to come all the way. Now look at this right here. I can show you better than I can tell you. When I press right here, I am, my muscles are shaking, right? If I do this right here, I don't feel anything. Look at this. Look at my feet. I can hold this all fucking day. You know what I mean? There's no stress here. You know what I mean? So I can stop about right here. Just keep it moving. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Push. Ah! 
Woo! Ah! We almost do. Alright, we're gonna finish off the upper pecs with a nice isolation movement. This is one of my favorite right here. Alright. We're gonna keep it 12 to 15 reps. Simple shit, 12 to 15 reps. I prefer 12 though, but 12 to 15 reps. Last time I get the lower chest. When I mean my lower chest, we're going from here on down. We want to get the lower pit right by the nipple area. We want to get the side, a little titty meat to the side. We want to get up in the inside of the pecs. That's why I have a high volume machine angle based day to really hit those fibers. You can't really hit all those fibers doing weighted dips or barbell bench. You gotta do shit like this too. And this is more advanced though. If you're a beginner, don't worry about all that extra shit. You know, build that foundation, get that thickness, get that density up. You know, don't worry about this shit till later. All right, so we're gonna start off with the hammer strength chest press. So let's get started on some little pec work, man. I love this machine right here, man. This hammer strength right here really enables you to really squeeze Eat those pecs, hit each arm so you won't have one titty bigger than the other. How you're looking right, you hear me? Let's get it. I put the other one on. Oh, shit, I'm so fucking hungry from doing this fasted workout. I hope I put my way here on the camera, man. We're gonna do four sets, six to 10 reps, nice and controlled, four sets. Come on. One, two, three, work! <laughs> So check it out. This is the fourth and final set. I'm gonna get as many as I can get. We're gonna immediately strip the weight, pump out some more. I want those beautiful, sculpted, crispy pecs. Gotta get the blood into it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah, come on. Ah, hit it. Ah, ah, ah. You got it. Ah, come on. Almost done. Seven, bitch. Come on, give me some. I tried to give it an eight like a motherfucker. Couldn't get it. You got it. Come on, do the job. Then we're gonna bang out some more. Let's go. Bang it out. Get that shit up off me. Get it up off me. You got it. Come on. That's work, baby. That's work. A little failure. That's all about breaking the muscles down. Oh, God damn it. Oh, it feels good to be whole ready again, man. When I hurt my back, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Didn't think I'd come back, man. Thought it was over. Thought it was over for the boy, huh? All right, guys. First and foremost, part of the workout is this. Stop what you're doing. Go to pumpchasers.com and get this maroon and go. I know you like it, I know you like it. Go get you one. I'm wearing a size medium in case you happen to give a fuck. I wear large shirts, but I like to wear medium stringers. You know I'm short. I don't want my stringer hanging to my fucking knees. You know what I mean? So I wear a medium stringer and I wear a large tee, all right? Decide to go ahead and wear the stringer so you can see this shit working. Now as you know, when I train, for the most part I like wearing shirt. I like covering up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shit working. That way, when you go to the gym, you know what you're getting yourself into. This right here is decline hammer strength. A whole different angle than the traditional flat press. All right, like I just told you a minute ago, I wanna hit that side titty meat, right? This is gonna hit that side titty meat. It's gonna stretch that. You know, you ever see a motherfucker in a tank top, they got that squishy titty meat? You know what I'm talking about? This is gonna get it. So, weighted dips, right? Weighted dips. And this shit right here is gonna hit that side titty meat. So check me out. Now you see a lot of people, they might load this shit up with four or five plates. Trust me, I can do the same. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you a set with me doing that. But that's not why I do this. I wanna sculpt those pics. Check me out. Make sure you give them a good view, alright? Now look at the side titty meat, man. See that stretch? See that little dimple? See that little dimple right here? See that? See that shit? 
I am sculpting my fucking pecs right now. Look at this. Now look at the inner pecs. Show me the inner. Drive the elbows 45 degrees. Now look. Bam. And I get the inside. All right? And the inside. So this is a great piece of uh, equipment right here, guys. We're doing 8 to 12 reps. Nice controlled. Okay? Like I just showed you. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to load it up and show you how motherfuckers in the gym do it. Keep in mind, I don't give a fuck about ego. I'm not here to show off. I'm not here to look cool. I'm here to get some results. I'm going to show you right now. Check me out. I can show you. Ooh, hold up. Back up real quick. Look at that. Screenshot. Hold up. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, look at that. Four wheels. Show them four wheels. You see this all the time. Give them a side view. You see this shit all the time. Check it out. Motherfuckers do this shit. Think it ain't doing something. Look at that. shit all day and night, but the pets want to be loved. They want to be squeezed like a woman. She want to be squeezed on. I'm trying to do this my same so, Light this shit up. And do it right. Put your ego to the side. Because guess what? When you go to the beach, you can't bring your ego with you. You can bring them games. All right, so do it right, man. Post this. 8 to 12 reps. Control down, control up. Let's go. Controlled. 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 Give me give you them pecs. Controlled. Posing is a real good way to help bring out that detail. <clears throat> All right, skip the last exercise. All right, guys, check it out. We're gonna do three sets of this right here. Three sets only. Here we go. Easy money. Stretch. Bam. Two. Cross the hands. Four. Five. Cross those hands. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. After getting twelve, do as many as you can do just making the hands touch. If you get tired and can't touch them, that's fine. Just do what you can. If this is enough, fuck it. Just get what you can. Very muscle work. Just working, baby. Just work. Just work. Work. Uh. Uh. All right, homies and homies. Oh, there it is. That's the chip routine. All right. As always, thank y'all for your support. Don't forget the Just Grind tees are now in stock with two new colors. Go now. As always, thank you for your support. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Buy 30 of them bitches because Bruno, he's at the house right now. And he can use those treats. How about that, your boy?